He's going to get him for the bear hug. Wow, that's some good wrestling going on here. It's almost like a second nature to me. It's just like walking. I've done it ever since I can remember. Started when I was about four or five years old. And uh, it's just second nature to me. It's something, you know, other people, they, they, we eat, we walk, we talk. Wrestling is one of that to me. It's, it's something that comes natural to me. For Charleston native Jake Smith, the road to Morgantown took a detour through northern Ohio. Cleveland State felt best fit for me at the time. And as I continued my wrestling career there, it, fit, it felt almost as if my goals and what needed to be done to achieve my goals in wrestling um, weren't exactly in line with the program. So I wanted to take a negative and turn it into a positive. And that positive was new Mountaineer head coach Sammy Henson. Well, actually, I, I got here and he, I heard he wanted to transfer, so it was uh, my good fortune that, you know, I just happened to get the job. I think that was, had something to do with it, you know, with me getting the job and bringing the staff I brought in, I think uh, kind of helped his, uh, his decision making. You know, when Sammy first came here, it was, it, it was everything I wanted. It was within the first, just seeing from the preseason, the way his style, his mentality, his attitude, and everything he brings forward to the program. I knew that was exactly what I wanted and what I needed, especially with someone that has done it before. The, the Golden Blue means absolutely everything to me. The Flying WV, uh, you know, having a bad day, you get to look at that in the room. It's, it's awesome to see that, you know, what I'm doing does stand for something and it stands for the state. And being a native of uh, West Virginia, out of Charleston, it, um, and it means, I feel like it means a lot more to me than it does some people as uh, an aspect that I am representing where I am from. And there is no better way to represent than scoring a pin against that team from up north. First period, 11-6 lead for Pitt overall in the team portion as Bonacorsi is going to get thrown onto his back by Smith and he's going to get the fall. Time of the fall, 145. You know, having your team out there and you know they're looking at you, you to do something big, you to shine, you to turn it around. That was my first competition against Pitt, but I knew that uh, the wrestling team in previous previous years had struggled against Pitt, and to uh, you know walk off that mat and, and leave that leave that arena knowing that that we just defeated Pitt was an amazing feeling. Well, he's big and strong and he's mean. And those are the things I like, um, and I think you know he's really good on top. So we, you know, that's for me. If you're if you can ride on top and put legs in, um, you know, that's a I'm going to recruit you. You know, there's some good kids in the state, and we need them. We don't need them leaving our, our border, and we we need to keep them here. And Jake's one of them. So we're excited about the future of West Virginia. Everything I need, nothing that I don't. Everything I need, nothing that I don't. Oh, everything I need and nothing that I don't go. Uh, being a mountaineer means absolutely everything. I've, you know, I've always wanted to be a mountaineer and I always was a West Virginia fan, but you know, when I when I took I took a different route, it kinda it kinda hurt a little bit to not, you know, not be a mountaineer, not be representing West Virginia University itself. And uh, now that I am a mountaineer, it's, it's absolutely everything. It, you know, it makes me work just a little bit harder in the room and just, you know, gets through those tough days. Mm -hmm.